My phone. Can I come over tomorrow? We need to talk. Of course. I'll be there after work. Is anyone outside? This is going to be the most bizarre game. This little split experience. Wasn't today a nice day? I bet you and Isaac had a lot of fun. Did we? I bet he sabotaged our bathroom. What did he do? What did he do in here? Oh, there's the front door. Found it. I see. You can go outside via there. So I need to manually garden every day, probably. Health is weak at the rose, but the lily is doing well. Nothing needs to be watered. I don't have any more plants. The spirits of the sacred god and thank you. We cannot walk into the street. I really like looking at this game. It looks like... I think this is rotoscoped, right? Like it's a person that was walking around and they drew over him, kind of. It looks like that one movie that was just about philosophy, where a bunch of people that were like cell shaded just talked at each other. And the whole movie is like rotoscoped. Was it called Still Life or something? I don't know. It looked like Scanner Darkly, but a little less... Well, at times less stylized and at times way more stylized. We can play Legend of the Spear! It's a little depressing to play a character whose entire life revolves around playing a video game, mostly because it's like you think about your whole life in context of how to make time to play said video game again, and it's like, I don't, this is too real now. Stop it. I am honored to join you, young hero. When Kali, the invaders approach. Get ready. Nope. Oh, now we can learn how she works. Rather organic setup, too, where they didn't, like, go... They didn't go wildly out of their way to explain how Agridge works. But apparently, she has abilities that you get from the garden, and you know that because they happened to send you over to the garden in, in the meantime. She has a lot of the same abilities here. She cannot charge up. So, when Kali has wind up, she has most of everything else, but not that. So she can jab, but she can't charge up an attack. But she has Nurture. Which is that she throws one of her hit points at her ally, basically. This soundtrack's gonna be a trip, too, isn't it? So no one's attacking, everyone's just moving. We could prep an attack. They just said that gardens attract bees, and we're in a garden that now where we're fighting men that are dressed like spiders and bees, like a whole town of people that dress up like monsters. I have questions about that. Oh, he she also can't sprint, can she? Because yeah, she just has move. So she can't do a charge up attack and she can't move two spaces, but she can heal someone, but only by using her hit points. So basically she should just probably stand back and not take hits if she can avoid it. You gonna punch me? He's planning on it. But I can do a strong punch. Stagger and knockback would mean that he'd probably get hit away before he could hit me. I still take a hit. I'm not sure if I fully understand how I avoided taking damage before. In the tutorial, I... He had some... Somebody came at me and I dashed past them. I think it's when they were still winding up, though, wasn't it? Maybe I should take the hit and just have her heal him.
No, I think I unselected strong punch. There we go. Oh, so he's going to be staggered for a turn, is the downside of getting hit by the jab. Which means this turn he can't do anything besides recover. How about your nurture? What's r the range on that? He's got... When Kali is affected by fireball, enemies affected... Uh, enemy fighters in contact inflicts... Who did the fireball exactly? F uh, affects fighters on contact, inflicts minus 3 HP on affected fighter, moves forward, expires on contact, cast by G Bean Mage. I'm gonna take 5 damage from fire? Or I'm going to this turn. Have I not been hit by it yet? Well, that's a problem I'd like to avoid if I can. Can you dash directly into a person? I assume not. But I need to avoid the fire. It, it dashes him out of the way. It's meaning he doesn't take the damage. I should double check to see if a normal... Can a wind-up do that? Looks like the wind-up would still avoid the damage. That's so probably enough. Sure. Meanwhile, I'm not really sure what to do with you. I should not walk into the fire path, so she should probably just rest for the turn. Get the stamina recovered. I like the idea of watching the recap that shows what happened. Just because this is, this is such a flow to the combat. And just strong punch you, right? Well, I take, I'll take fire. That'd be bad. I just continue my wind up to dodge around the fire. I'll still take the fire damage. I should probably dash then to avoid the fire. There we go. That avoids the damage. And it's not going to hit her either. She, they're crossing right in front of her. She's going to be fine. That's funny. So parry a stri uh, strike that will stagger the striker and switch position with theirs. I think that happens when the, someone's going to jab you. The way of avoiding the damage that's incoming. For now, I think her best move is just to hang out. There's just a crisscross of danger fire right in front of her. And our, our speedrunner over here is just dashing around the map like a lunatic to avoid all this crazy damage coming his way. And no one's about to hit me, so it's a good time to finally get a hit in, but he's gonna be out of stamina soon. These fireballs are still coming through? They have a travel time. Oh my goodness, the projectiles have a multi-turn travel time that you account for in your movement. This might this might make the turn-by-turn -turn evasion abilities super satisfying. He's resting too. If I move here, will I take fire damage? I will not. Going for the punch. Oh, but now he's gonna get it. Now they're gonna get hit. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna attack him? No one's gonna attack him this turn, so we should probably rest before he runs out. Meanwhile, what if I do a parry on you? What will happen? Ha ha! Look at that sneaky move. He doesn't take damage, he just moves. But it's a way of avoiding the damage. This is interesting. Alright. He's going over there, so I can wind up towards that direction to get ready to attack them. You're staggered, which means I get a free hit. So let's do that. It's coming together. I'm figuring this out now. He's So they're still jabbed. You can't jab from this distance. What does that mean? You can't jab somebody that's right in front of you? Well, he has to recover. So I could rest. 
This is neat. Alright. This is something different. I'm getting a similar feeling to what I got when I first played Pyre, and I was like, what is this? What? What? I didn't think this is what this was. And it just kept getting weird. I can parry you again. Very abusable. I wonder how the enemy counters that exactly is the question. No, wind up won't work. Let's do a dash action. To approach the person that's currently hiding over there. Is he going to charge up a fireball and shoot his ally? Because that'd be fantastic. The answer is yes, by the way. The answer is absolutely a yes. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. I just, I just threw him into the projectile. Oh, that's the best. Fireballs do three damage. That's, that's a good thing to be able to just use against your opponent. Let's do a wind up. Let's just get you out of the path of any fireball that comes our way, because that'd be bad. You think you can escape me? KO! Plus one motivation. That's great. All right. I like the re the replay is pretty good. They knew what they what they had there. It's like it's kind of what what a super hot does, right? You do a bunch of big rapid actions that are supposed to be happening in seconds, and then it shows you the end result when you win. You did well enough, young hero. A spirit of the sacred garden is impressed by your performance. A thirsty elder flower emerges into the sacred garden. Which we know is just the garden inside of the, in front of the house. While elderflower blooms in the sacred garden, a br uh, a bridge. I keep want keep wanting to say a bridge. Ag Agridge can perform grace minus one SP. Target ally gains one HP when parrying an attack. Expires after six turns. Ooh, she can give someone the ability to, to use parries to heal. This garden is a sacred place where great spirits are reborn as flowers. Their roots are entwined with other worlds. So I'm at, I'm now at seven motivation. We're, we're trending upward, which is good. That's all right looking water. So I wonder if we're going to continually see real life and video game equivalents of the same location. Since it seems like this might be the sacred garden, which is also what's right outside our house. Like, is, the, is there going to be a video game equivalent of, like, the the department store that he worked at? Hexagonal rocks. Are any of them going to poke up a little bit? Oh. I recognize that cloak. That is for the princess's bodyguard. All right. Neat movie. Neat movie got there. But she, she looks just like the princess. Listen, I know the invaders came through Netherwater. They st they stunk of algae. Tell me where they came. Ah, such beautiful cries of anguish from the mouth breathers. I feel a song bubbling in my brains, but it will not surface. Those are glugs, creatures from Netherwater. They are miserable and cruel. Drunken slobs. Princess, how did you escape? I am not the girl you think I am. I am Ipo of the Royal Guard. Oh. I can't keep playing. The garden work really exhausted me. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go to the garden anyway. Let's, let's get double exhausted. Got a new plant. I gotta plant the new plant. Right, there's the front door. I guess the welcome mat kind of gave it away, huh? How could you be exhausted, though? We must just not get anything done. Oh, it just... It, when it said it appeared, it was not joking. It just shows up. There you go. Now you're watered. Water good, water good, water good. This health is weak. These ones are both strong. It's the elder flower. Oops. Accidentally double watered it. Uh, 
Stop watering. I just want to look at it again. Actually, doesn't mention the, the description right here. No, there it is. So, gain one hit point when you parry. Transfer one hit point. And then what was this one? Fury. Make your enemy deal one more damage. I didn't see that. I, I might have just missed it. So I can you can also buff people to do more damage. I should have been doing that. Wasn't today a nice day? I bet you and Isaac had a lot of fun. Oh no, it's my NPC grandma. She just says the same thing on loop. What will I do? Bedtime? Yep. They grant you new powers and new spirits in the sacred garden. And we're well rested because we're good adults that didn't just loop right back into playing more computer. But I wonder if like doing too much real life stuff will like make me fall behind the com computer game or something. What if the game ends when his story ends and not when his computer game story ends and you don't get to see how, this, how that one ends? And the question is which one's more interesting? Mom? Shh, I'm listening to my podcast program. Really? What distant dystopian future is this? Where people with white hair understand what podcasts are, but they also still use corded phones. I have tried so hard to explain podcasts, and it should be easier to explain because it's just a radio program, basically, but not on the radio, but that's too hard. Oh, there's our phone. Speaking of which... This is your final notice about your unpaid gas and electric bill for... Mom? Have you not been paying the bills? Oh, I'm not sure. But don't worry, honey, it doesn't matter. Uh, of course it matters. We'll all be in heaven before they shut off the power. The world is ending. Mr. Franklin said it so. Ooh, boy. Uh, it turns out it's a bad news that she understands what podcasts are because she plays podcasts of insane people. Uh, who's Mr. Franklin? Mr. Franklin hosts the Salvation Podcast. I've been listening to his program for years. God would not have sent us Mr. Franklin if it wasn't part of his plan. Nothing happens in this world without God's decision. Okay. I was thinking that we had parallels here. Like, it's going to be like one of those stories where each person in the fictional story is also one of the people in the real story. And there's like a one-to-one -one relationship between the two. She's clearly uh, a Gridge. Because they both, they both tend a garden, and they both talk about God's plan, or the King's plan. We owe God our existence. Sometimes he sends us a message, and we just have to. We must have faith in God. We are lost without him. Okay, fine. The world is ending. If it makes no difference to you, can we, play, can we pay the bills anyway? Sorry, sweetie. I donated all my money to Mr. Franklin's charity. What? All the money from Dad's life insurance? That was a lot of money. We needed that. Relax, honey. We'll be fine. God knows it was the right thing to do, and he will welcome us into heaven. I'm going to be sick. I have to get a job. Plus five motivation from fear of poverty. It's like it's like the messages that of, uh, it fills you with determination. From Undertale. Uh, hi. Uh, Garinardo? Garinardo, sure. Uh, Garatello! What? Hey guys. Um, are we doing, doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles references? Is that what we're going for? Um, what's up? I'll tell you what's up. Drugs. Uh, Gary Angelo. Okay, yeah, they're all they're all Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle parallel names, apparently. <laughs> Gary Angelo, listen, want to do some drugs? Illegal drugs. Since when do you guys do drugs? Our band Nether hasn't reached the success we hoped for, so we're gonna try drugs. Every great rock band does drugs, especially the illegal kind. But forget that. 
We just want to chill her for a while. No biggie. Uh, I'm one motivation short. Are you kidding me? I'm paying for the consequences of that one time I stayed up a little bit later. <laughs> and now I, I can't resist drugs. So I'm going to be a deadbeat. Oh, sure. Come on. Oh, no. Gaffiel, my man. This is how we give in to drugs. Why are they blue people? <laughs> See? Uh, he won. Why does she look like that character from, uh... Not Bill and Ted, the other one. The one where they're music... No, is that Bill and Ted? Is that the one where... No. No. The Mike Myers and... Other guy. He's, not, he's the one that's not Mike Myers. They're like a band or something. God damn, I cannot think of it. It's fine. See, I was driving. I felt a song bubbling in my brains. We were nearby, and I said, Hey, you know who's cool? Gary. For sure, Gary sent out good vibes. We gotta hash this song out here at Gary HQ. We need your vibes, man. Hi, your mom let me in. You have company? Forgot I was coming over, huh? I didn't, uh... Might as well disappoint. Ah, I lost the motivation for disappointing Megan. I didn't forget she was coming. I knew she was coming, but then these, they just walked in and I couldn't motivate myself, apparently. Guys, can Gary and I have a minute to talk in private? Oh, I get it. Ooh, that's good. I'll write it down. Guys, that's fantastic. Time to go. Got it. Hey, one more thing. You and Dave are tight. Can you talk to him? He seems really bummed out lately. We need our lead singer to be kind of bummed out, but not this bummed out. He's like mega bummed right now. Thanks, dude. They forgot their music scribbles. Those are letters. C sharp, A, F sharp, B. Oh, it's still there. Gary, please listen. I'm thinking about joining the Marines. Huh. That's all you have to say? I think I understand. I've dreamed of it since I was a kid. My dad and brother served. I know I can too. What about us? I'm not sure we can make it work. I'll have to move away. How could things work out between us? I love you, but I don't think I can rely on you when things get difficult. Oh, Jesus. You enjoy life. You're fun. I like that about you, but sometimes you're just too selfish. Wow, the consequences of the... I'm getting some really bad consequences of staying up late to play slightly more video game that one time at the beginning. Maybe this could have... Oh my god, 20 motivation? Is that possible? Anyway, I'm just thinking about it. We haven't made up my mind yet. The military is dangerous for women? Jesus. I can be better. I think you can, but I don't know if you will. I think you want me to be the always attentive girlfriend. But I am not the girl you think I am. That's... weird. I am not the girl you think I am. So now he's caught catching on to the fact that the people in the video game and the people in real life are the same people. So now she is the princess. You just said a line from the video game I've been playing. Dude, please just stop thinking about video games for a minute. Sorry. It's fine. I gotta go. We'll talk more later. Minus five motivation from heartbreak. So some of these are going to be a bit out of her hand as we suffer the consequences of her actions, but also the consequences he made, uh, of the actions he made before this all started. Don't worry so much, honey. It's bad for you. If the world is ending soon, then why does it matter? Worrying is bad for your eternal soul, Gary. Will my soul get wrinkles or something? Don't get... don't get smart with me. Sorry. Let's go outside. We, we apparently never need to use the restroom. I should check the garden, though. Oh, look how much it bloomed. Holy crap. Excessive. Click, click, click. I am a good watery man. So is, is water going to be a limited resource at some point? Do I have to worry about that? You're, you're healthy now. 
it's healthy, but the stats didn't change. I think it's I think when it's unhealthy, it just might actually disappear. I think that's the idea. This new this information that shows up here when you hit info is the same stuff that shows up when you just highlight it up here. All right, the garden looks nice. You'll notice that I lost more motivation from my girlfriend saying she might move than I did from finding out that my uh, my mother is a l religious zealot that throw, threw 100% of our money away because the world's ending and now I need to get a job to fix, to pay for an entire house, which is not an easy thing for an entry-level millennial to do, is pay for a, the, all the payments of a house based on the income of going to like a supermarket or something. We're gonna need something extreme. Like drugs. Extreme drugs. I can see into this closet, but I don't think I can get into it. Where's the door located? Is it one of those places where the staircase gets lifted? Or is it, there must be a door in here that's just not shown. Go to bed. Just go right back to bed on a regular basis. Let's play Legend of the Spear. Hello there. If uh, if one of you, uh, if some of you columns could just stand out of the water a little more, I could, you know, do a running joke here. Hello. I think these glugs know something, but they will not say. They are creatures of nether water, the realm of primordial waters. I have a hunch our attackers emerged from nether water. You left the princess behind? As her bodyguard, you must not leave her. I... I had no choice. I was no match for those warriors. And neither were you. But you are right. I should not have fled. The king would be ashamed of me. We must work together. Yes, we both failed. But now, we must save her. How'd you get here? I used my feather cape to glide down from the banquet room. Yeah, that's what I did too. I used my awesome feather cape. I definitely didn't just fall. I am of the Avon tribe, and I have trained with their aerial scouts. What should we do? Those men who attacked us, led by the one called Onesia, they are too powerful for us. We need the king's help, but he disappeared. I do not know why. He seemed to know Onesia. We must learn more about this Onesia and find the king. I think these glugs can tell us more. If only they would cooperate. Okay. I hate glugs. Oh, they're blue. They're blue, and they're covered in <laughs> what I, I assume are various forms of alcohol, because they're they're like gluttons. They give in to desires, and they're blue and yellow, because they are the two people that came in in the band. So the color schemes help you tell who is who, because Ippo is wearing the same color clothing that uh, the girlfriend was. I have more. I have to get these names straight. <laughs> 